Welcome to the video. I'm Josh. This is Mo. We are going to be showing you some new technology called SDK Cloud. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you what it is and how to use it. So, Mo, what, what is SDK Cloud? Okay, so what SDK Cloud is, is it's almost the same as SDK Desktop, but the main difference is that you're able to use it through your browser. So one of the big things is that it means you don't need to have the specific hardware specs you need for SDK uh, Cloud to work properly. Along with that, we've always had questions of, oh, can you use SDK on a Mac and things like that. So with SDK Cloud, as long as you have access to an internet browser, you can use SDK either on your desktop of a Windows, like regular, you can use it in the browser of a Windows, or you can use it in a MacBook setting. Yeah, I would have just said SDK in a browser, but what you said was perfect. So <laughs> let's show them the difference here. So we got SDK up uh, right now. Absolutely. You've all seen SDK before, if yep. not. Uh, it's just the regular SDK. You can see I can control it. We have our window locked into the top and bottom. Pretty standard stuff. Look, looks normal. All right, yep. let's see what this SDK looks like in the web browser. Right, so if I go to the web browser here, and as you can see, it's pretty similar, um, but the biggest difference is if we look at the top and the bottom. The bottom is showing frame, which is the technology that we're using for SDK Cloud, as well as some specs about the server you're connecting to. So that little bar down there is your indicator that this is you're in SDK Cloud, and uh, th these are some of the things you might want to know about your session that you have. Exactly. So, SDK Cloud is running on a virtual machine mm -hmm. in the cloud. Yep. And you can get some stats and some information about how well it's running in that bottom bar right there that Mo was just pointing at. You got it. Yep. Just do you want me to run through some of those? Yeah, so right here, we just starting from the left, we have network bandwidth, which is, of course, is very important to let you know how good your connection is and so forth. You have your latency, you know, how long it takes for when you click to, you know, something to actually be clicked, as well as your distance to the server. You also have a Windows resolution right here. Currently, we're just set to 98%, but if you wanted to full screen your browser, you would have the ability to do so. And of course, you also have the ability to see how long you've been uh, having this uh, cloud session open for. All right, very cool. So we're mm -hmm. going to walk through how you use it, but real quick, the main difference, the main takeaway from this video is what you need to know yep. is how to interact with SDK Cloud for your data. Yep, exactly. So SDK Cloud is being run up in a virtual machine up in the cloud. So that means, can you go up to file save there? Absolutely. When you go to file save in SDK Cloud, and uh, do a save as, so we can show the directory structure. Yep. So this looks like we're about to save to the desktop of our machine, which is true, but it is a virtual machine. It is not our local desktop. So if you save to this, anything that you put here yep. is going to, what, what's going to happen to it, Mo? So basically, if we save something here and we think we can access it maybe tomorrow on our desktop, our regular Windows desktop, we won't see it. It'll yep. just be gone. And that's because, remember, we're, this is simply for the virtual machine. So, it'll, so Yeah, exactly. It it's goes like, away with the virtual machine when your session's over. We'll it. get into that for a second. So how do you you access it, you use the SDK data federate. Or that, SDF. SDF. The easy way to remember it is I call it save the files, exactly. right? SDF. That's how you transfer data from mm -hmm. your cloud sessions of SDK to any other session of SDK that you want to do, whether it's another cloud session mm -hmm. or it's a laptop somewhere else. Yep. that you want to get your data back and forth. Exactly. And the nice thing about that is you can say maybe use SDK cloud, do some edits, take it to SDK Desktop, maybe finish it up there, and then bring it back to SDK Cloud if now you're moving from like a Windows machine to a Mac and going back and forth right. seamlessly. It makes it easy to jump around and you keep it. your data following mm -hmm. you. So the key takeaway, and we're going to walk through it step by step, is don't save to the local virtual machine. Mm -hmm. Save to the SDF, save to files, right? And we'll interact with them. Yeah, we'll show you how to save them and then load them over on your desktop and keep your data going with you. You got it. So now we're going to walk you through signing into SDK Cloud and how you can get started. Yep. Um, we're going to go ahead and type in the URL sdkcloud.agi.com. And what we do, it'll lead us to a login splash screen because, of course, we need to make sure we're tying your instance to the proper login so that you can access the cloud uh, and as well as access the SDF where you can save your scenarios. So once I'm here, I'll go ahead and hit login. So just on that point, if you have a web login, and that means you have an SDF account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So right here, you can see I'm on this uh, SDK Cloud Now web page where I can go ahead and click on the big blue button that says SDK Cloud Trier or Launch SDK Cloud. Right. If you're watching this video in the future and this web page has changed, just look for the big Launch the SDK Cloud yeah. button. So if you're unsure if your machine network connectivity is going to be fast enough, Mo, what do we do? So basically, right where we can launch our SDK Cloud trial, we have a Test Your Connection button, which is really important because what's the point of even starting up SDK Cloud if your internet's not properly working? So, so do it. Yep, we'll go ahead and click on it. And now immediately right here, you, you can see that we're able to know what Chrome version we're using, the browser web sockets. And down here, we have a listing of the different server locations as well as how long it takes to connect to them. This is letting us know that, yes, we indeed are going to be connecting to a server that will guarantee that we have very low latency times to make our SDK Cloud instance as seamless as possible. Right. So our connection looks good. Go ahead and kick that thing off.
So now we have a new instance of SDK opened up. As you can see, we have our new scenario wizard. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make a name that's very unique to this. So I'll just call it SDK Cloud underscore demo, right? Very unique. It's not something that we have pre-saved, and I'll hit OK. Makes sense to me. So we had this pre-cooked just so you didn't have to wait during the video, but mm -hmm. your session of SDK Cloud might take two to three minutes, yep. depending on your connection. Go to... grab a cup of coffee. It'll probably be early in the that's morning. That's a quick cup of coffee, but yeah. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> Bring it back to your desk. Right. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and say add in a facility. We'll just do insert default. Nothing really special here. And I'll just leave it at that. Of course, you would spend more than two minutes making a scenario and you'd really make it up to, you know, the specs that you would be looking for. Now, of course, once we have this complete, I'm going to go ahead and save it. But uh, where do I save it, Poli? Save to files. You save in the SDF. Exactly. The SDK Data Federate. And to do that, we're going to go to File. And right here, you have the Save to SDK Data Federate. So here's one of the gotchas, and we kind of cover this in a separate video we have about the SDF. Yeah, it's hosted by uh, some guy who really knows his stuff. So there's a whole other video about how to use the SDF and how to interact with it. We're going through it real quickly yep. just because that's the tool you use to you work with uh, exactly. SDK Cloud. Exactly. So as we can see here, when we hit uh, Save As, we have our login shown up here in the top right corner. Um, you may see it saying Guest, and if you do, you will have to um, change that to your proper login so it's saved not to a random guest file. But we have a folder we created in here called uh, SDK Cloud. Um, but along with that, you can see that within the SDF, an automatic brand new folder was created, almost like those who have used SDK before. You'll get a scenario folder that gets automatically created. Um, we have the name of our scenario created right here. So now if I double click on this or highlight this folder, I can just go ahead and hit. Before you, before yep. you click that save, look at the left side of your, your bar there. See yeah. these desktop, my desktop, my, my computer. Call. Remember, again, just to be redundant here so you guys get the point, is this is the desktop of the virtual machine. Right. Don't so, do it. So if you save stuff there, it's not going right. to end well. Don't do it. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and have it saved here, and we'll hit save. Save the file. And we're going to make sure we check in. All right. So the file is now successfully saved. And now the quick uh, sanity check is we want to make sure that we can actually access it via, via desktop. Before that, though, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the browser version of the SDF to see if it actually has saved. So what you can do is go to sdf.agi.com, which is we, something we also talk about in the other video, and you'll lead to a web page like this. So I'm already logged in, right? And all I have to do now is go down to where I had saved that folder. So I can go ahead and click on my files here. And once I click on my files, right here, we can there see that is. we have SDK Cloud Demo. And it says modify just now, even though this is my first time accessing this folder via the desktop or via the browser. Um, before we just did it through SDK Cloud. So this is telling us that some other entity, in this case SDK Cloud, was able to save it. All right, now let's check it out inside of SDK. Let's exactly. go pull down that same scenario. So what we're going to do is we have the SDK desktop here, which is totally fine. How do we know that this is a desktop version of the application? Well, I don't see the bar at the bottom. Exactly. Uh, letting me know that it's in a browser, and I don't see it running in a browser. Exactly. So you don't have, like the for us, Google Chrome, like the search address at the top or anything right. like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit Open. And right now, immediately, we can see we have this left column here. Just like we saw when we saved it from the SDK cloud, we see SDK Data Federate right here on the left. So we have, once again, the login. We make sure that we're uh, logged in properly. And now all I have to do is go to Browse. I'm going to go down to um, right here, User Homes, JPoly, SDK Cloud Demo, and right there. And I can go ahead and hit Open. OK, so I've opened up the same scenario with an uh, SDK desktop that we saved from SDK Cloud. Of course, I didn't do anything too fancy. We saw we just inserted in the single facility. Um, but we can definitely know that this is the same scenario because we see right here um, it says SDK Cloud underscore demo, which is the exact same name. So what we just showed was how to save the scenario and reopen it in SDK desktop. But now we're going to show you a feature that is very unique to SDK Cloud. So and very cool. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to go back to SDK Cloud. We have uh, open right here. Once again, sanity check. We see the frame instance on the bottom. We did talk about some of these metrics, but the one we didn't uh, highlight on is this cog here, which is the settings option. And within here, you have this really nice feature called share session. So if I go ahead and click on this, what this allows me to do is copy this link uh, and email it or send it to a colleague or anybody really who'd be able to operate in the same instance of SDK Cloud at the same time. You can have two drivers of yeah. SDK. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to do that right now. Yeah, exactly. So this is something we're going to do. So I already pre-copied the link and sent it over to my personal laptop, which we have here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Right, I'm going to drive this one. Yeah. This keyboard is driving the screen you're seeing, and Mo's going to have another one yeah. driving from the other screen. 
Right. And actually, if you take a look at the bottom right corner, you can see that we got a little human icon that says you and one other user are active, letting you know that someone else is now interacting with your scenario, just in case you may uh, have someone who shouldn't be in there, which I hope is not the case. All right. So I have this mouse and I'm not doing anything. Yep. Can you uh, get rid of that timeline view for me? I can. It's cluttering up. Ooh, Jesus. look at that. Ooh. Look, Ma, Pa, no hands. Yeah, look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. And so the really nice thing is maybe you have someone who is just, you're trying to teach someone a certain capability. You want them to control a certain facet that maybe you're not familiar with. Maybe you're an air guy and they're a comms person. They'd be able to do that and you'd still be able to watch and work in the same unique environment. Yeah, I, sure you get I could see on. this being ex especially handy when you're trying to learn something from somebody else. Exactly. I just call up Mo and I say, hey, Mo, uh, help me. I'm stuck on my SDK. How do I close the timeline? How view? do I close the timeline <laughs> view? And he would he could show me, and I could watch his mouse exactly. doing it. So for education and help, it'd be it's perfect. Also, be pretty good for demoing too. If collaborating, demoing, showing somebody, hey, this is the scenario I built so far. What do you think of it, Mo? Yeah, exactly. And, and you could say, well, just as a facility, it's really not that exciting. We should probably work on. We should some, probably work on. Probably it. work on a better scenario. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So now we. So how do we get out of this? Exactly. So that I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's almost like. All you would do is close out of the browser. But the reason but we're I saying this, is, yeah, the reason we're saying this is because we know we're human. So most of the time you may end up saving to the SDF, which is the proper way. But you may have those one or two times where it's really late at night or you're finishing up a project and you just hit X. And the worst thing would be is, yes, we indeed saved it, but it's saved on to the actual SDK Cloud desktop. So is there something to deal with that, Josh? There is. I'm glad you asked, actually. Why don't you tell us? So if you accidentally close your window or it gets the, the browser closes mm -hmm. itself, uh, your session will stick around for 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. So if you go log back into it, you will be able to get to what you were just yeah. working on, and it's still preserved for 90 minutes before it shuts down that virtual machine, basically. Yeah, so the virtual machine is up for 90 minutes, and you could just go open desktop, load it back in. That being said, there is a more formal way of closing the entire desktop instance um, or the virtual machine instance. Right. That would mean that anything you did accidentally save on the desktop would be forever gone. Right. So if you go to here and you go to file, file. exit, this is not only going to uh, exit SDK Cloud. Uh, I don't want to save that. I already did. Right. Uh, this is also going to shut down the virtual machine. Right. So if, if you did that by accident, which was a lot of steps to do something by accident, you're not going to be able to recover the stuff that you have because exactly. it's going to put the virtual machine to yep. sleep, and it's going to take a couple minutes for you to get a new one spun up and mm -hmm. start over. So remember, as a, as a just a sanity check, anytime you go through that formal process, if ever, always remember, am I actually saved to the SDF? So thank you for checking out this demo on how to use SDK Cloud. And if you yourself are interested in using SDK Cloud, once you log in, you can see at the very top of our webpage, we have this Try Us Out button. And once you click on it, you'll be led to this page that we see here where you can launch an SDK uh, a cloud trial. Of course, you can contact us at 610-981-8888 if you have further questions or maybe you want to schedule a training with this or anything like that. Thanks. Or email support at AGI.com. Or email support at AGI.com. And with that, take All care, right. guys. Thanks, Mo.